Hello, so welcome back to another tutorial video. My name is Osetale. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to cut and sew a cargo shirt. Today's video is the part one where I'll be sharing with you how to draft all the patterns that you're going to be needing for this cargo shirt. If this sounds like something you're interested in, subscribe to the channel. Please keep on watching and let's get started. So guys, for this tutorial, these are the major measurements that you're going to be needing. So before I go ahead to start this tutorial, I'm going to be using this piece of paper to share with you guys how you're going to go about dividing all your body measurements. I really want this video to be detailed, so that's why I'm going to be doing this before we go ahead to start drafting the pattern, okay? So to do that, I'm going to come here. I'm going to write down my waist measurement. My waist measurement is 32 inches. I'm going to go ahead and divide it by 4. Say divided by 4, you're going to have 8 inches. Now, this 8 inches that I have, I'm going to add extra 1 inch. You say plus 1, you're going to have 9 inches. Now, this 9 inches is what I'll be drafting on my pattern paper as my waist measurement divided by 4, okay? Now, the next one is the hip measurement. The hip I'm making use of is 42 inches. You are going to as well divide this 42 inches by 4 but for now i'm going to be dividing it by 2 so just go ahead and divide it by 2 for now you're going to have 21 inches so that means for the front part we have 21 inches just write the front 21 inches and for the back you are going to have as well 21 inches that means we have divided our round hip measurement by 2 for now guys you will recall that when drafting a trouser or a short the back is always bigger than the front so because of that reason i'm going to be taking away one from this my front measurement that i have i'll say minus one i'm going to have 20. now this one that i took out of the front measurement i will add it to the back measurement i'll say plus one i will have 22 inches now we have made the back measurement bigger than the front measurement by doing this okay so now you're going to go ahead and divide this 20 inches by 2, you're going to have 10 inches. You divide 22 inches by 2, you're going to have 11 inches. Now this 10 inches and 11 inches is what I'm going to be using to cut the front and the back um, measurement divided by 4 respectively. So after you're done doing that, you're going to come to the tie measurement. My tie measurement is 24 inches. Go ahead and divide this by 2. You remember you can only divide your tie measurement by two not by four so dividing it by two i have 12 inches that means my front tie measurement is 12 inches and my back tie measurement is as well 12 inches i'm going to be doing minus and plus again i'll take away one from the front tie measurement i will have 11. now the one that i took out of the front i will add it to the back i will have 13 inches so i'll be cutting my front tie measurement divided by two by 11 and the back i will use 13 inches now the last one is the knee measurement i'm going to repeat the same thing my knee measurement is 22 inches divided by 2 i'm going to have 11 that means the front knee measurement is 11 inches and the back knee measurement is as well 11 inches for now go ahead and do your minus and plus again take away one from the front knee measurement you are going to have 10 inches the one you took out add it to the back knee measurement you're going to have 12 inches now i'm going to be drafting the front knee measurement using 10 inches i will draft the back knee measurement using 12 inches so guys all these last digits that i marked is what i'm going to be using to draft on my pattern paper so this is how you're going to go about dividing your body measurement so this is the same process you're going to use regarding your size whichever size you are whether you are big or small however your measurement is this is the same process that you're going to use in dividing your body measurement okay now we're going to go ahead to draft out this pattern to do this go ahead and rule a line here which is going to serve as your starting line on this line you're going to take the length of the short the length i'm making use of is 20 inches guys remember to take away one inch which is going to serve as your band so just take away one inch from your measurements like this and measure to the length that you need and mark it out like this after you're done doing that on this starting line you're going to measure to your crotch you don't need to take away one inch this time so just take your crotch measurement and rule it out as well after you're done doing this now on this crotch line you're going to come down by one and a half inch this is going to be your tie line now you're going to label it the waistline the crotch line the tie line and the full length so this is what you're going to have 
now it's time to take your round body measurement you're going to take what you have as your round hip measurement divided by four for the front you're going to come to the crotch line and take the measurement do the same thing on the waistline take the same thing your round hip measurements divided by four what you have for the front and connect it after you're done connecting on this line you're going to go out by two inches so just mark two inches out like this use your curve rule to make a curve there so this is going to be your crotch curve so this is what you're going to have after doing this the next thing to take your round waist measurement so what i have here is nine inches as my round waist measurement divided by four so i currently have 10 inches here so i'm going to take away half inch here i'll also come here and take away half inch then go ahead and connect this so guys by taking away half inch on both sides we have automatically removed one inch now we have nine inches which is what i need as my waist measurement divided by four so just go ahead and connect it the way you see me doing like this after you're done doing that now you're going to come here and come down by half inch so just mark it and connect it connect a slanted line just like this so guys after doing that the next thing is to come to this crotch line here go ahead and divide what you have on this line into two and get the midpoint of it so from that mark that you have measure to the end what you have there take it on the waistline and as well take it on the knee line so guys after doing that go ahead and connect this with your straight ruler now this line is the middle line of our shirt okay now you are going to come to the tie line you are going to take your tie measurement divided by four what you have as your front tie measurement divided by four you are you are going to take it on your tie line so just go ahead and divide the measurements you have and make sure that the midpoint of your measurement is on that middle line go ahead and mark it on both sides just like this and this is what you are going to have now you're going to do the same thing to the knee line you're going to take your knee measurement for the front so you're going to divide it into two and get the middle of it so half of that measurement make sure it is on the uh, middle line and go ahead and mark it on both sides as well now you're going to go ahead and connect this like this and like this i will be using my hip curve to connect this part so just place your hip curve on it like this and connect this then you use it and connect this other side as well make sure you are lining it well before connecting so this is what you're going to have now you're going to cut this out after cutting guys this is what you're going to have so this is the front part you're going to go ahead and liberate the front so guys this is it now i'm going to be modifying this front to cut the back so this is the pattern paper i'm going to be using for the back now i'm going to bring the front piece i'll place it on it make sure that you have space here and here just like this so after you're done doing that you're going to go ahead and come out on this crotch line by two and a half inch and you mark it on that mark you're going to come down by half inch so just leave those two marks there for now now you're going to come to this side here you're going to replace the half inch that we cut out of the front then you're going to go ahead and connect it just like this after doing that you're going to come to this side here you will go up by two and a half inches and make a mark there so now on this mark you're going to go ahead and take your waist measurement divided by four so what we have is nine inches you're going to be adding extra one inch to nine inches for the darts so you're going to mark 10 inches so go ahead and mark 10 inches like this now you're going to go ahead and come here just come down by about two inches here and you're going to take your hip measurement for the back so hip measurement for the back is 11 inches go ahead and mark 11 inches just like this now you're going to use your curve rule to connect these points make use of the second point not the first point so just go ahead and connect these points together just like this okay after you're done doing that the next thing you're going to do is to use your straight ruler to connect to meet the other points okay now you're going to go ahead and connect just like this so guys after doing that it's time to take the tie measurement you recall that the difference between the front and the back tie is two inches and the same thing for the knee okay so i'm just going to go ahead and add two inches to what i have here so just go out by two inches here on the tie and the same thing on the knee and you're going to go ahead and connect this using your hip cuff just like this after doing that just connect this line here like this and use your curve to also connect this line 
now you're going to go ahead and mark your middle line just make a mark where your middle line is and do the same thing on the top here now go ahead and remove your pattern paper remove the front pattern paper connect this middle line just like this now on this middle line you're going to come here and take half inch on both sides we're trying to create the dart so you're going to come down here by four inches now just go ahead and rule out your dart and after you're done doing that you're going to cut this out so guys after cutting this is what you're going to have go ahead to label it the back so guys this is it this is the back and the front pattern paper for the shirt okay now i'm going to go ahead and place this aside we draft the pocket so to draft the pocket i already have a fresh pattern paper on the table i'm going to take the pocket length i'm going to be making use of length of 12 inches go ahead and roll a straight line like this now for how wide the pocket is going to be i'm going to be marking seven inches come here and mark seven inches as well and rule a straight line so after you're done doing that you're going to use your curve rule to make a curve here just like this now you're going to go ahead and cut this out so guys after cutting just go ahead and label it the pocket so this is going to be for the side pocket this is the normal pocket guys the normal pocket that you normally have on the side of a trouser now it's time to cut out the cargo pocket so i'm going to come down by eight inches here which is going to be the pocket length go ahead and roll it like this so how wide the pocket is going to be the cargo pocket is also going to be eight inches but because of the pleats that i'm going to be having in the middle i'm going to be adding extra three inches to my measurement so just go ahead and measure what you have here and take it here as well then go ahead and cut this out guys you might not understand what i mean by please but you will get to understand it the course of this video when we are sewing this short okay so now you're going to go ahead and label it cargo pockets so guys the pleat that i'm talking about is going to look like this you can see what i'm doing so this is how the pleat is going to look like something like this don't worry guys you'll get to see this when we are sewing it now the next thing i'm going to draft out is the cargo pocket cover you are going to go ahead and take eight inches which is your pocket width so just go ahead and take eight inches and mark it like this now you're going to come down by two and a half inches or three inches but i'm going to be using two and a half inches for mine mark it there and mark it here as well go ahead and connect this with your straight ruler and cut it out so guys after you're done cutting you're just going to place it together like this and make a little cut here so this is optional you can choose to leave it straight so this is what you're going to have this is going to be for the cargo pocket cover so the next thing i'm going to cut is the back pocket i'm going to be coming down by length of six and a half inches go ahead and roll a line here after you're done doing that how wide my pocket is going to be i'm going to be marking um, five and a half inches so just mark it and mark it here as well and connect the dots and roll a straight line after you're done doing this cut it out now you're going to place it together like the way you see me doing like this you're just going to make a little cut here like a v cut to give it that v shape just like this did you see guys so this is what you're going to have now i'm going to fold it together again and just use my straight ruler to make a little slanted line like this just the way you see me do it and you're going to as well cut this out so this is to give it that back pocket shape did you see so guys this is what you're going to have now you're going to label this the back pockets so guys this is what you're going to have now it's time to cut the zipper fly i'm going to come down here by eight inches so just mark eight inches and roll it out like this now i'm going to come here and measure two inches here i will do the same thing here and i will as well rule this out now i'm going to use my curve rule to make a little curve here just like this then i'll go ahead and cut this out so guys this is what you're going to have now i'll be using this to cut the same thing but this other one that i'll be cutting will be a little bit bigger you can see i have like half inch bigger than the one i placed on top so just go ahead and trace this out like this so these two pieces now is what i'll be using for the zipper fly okay 
so guys the last thing i went ahead to cut was the band i cut it out using my round waist measurement divided by two plus extra three inches just for allowances and it is one and a half inch wide so that's what i have i'm going to go ahead and label it the waist band so guys this is it this is what you're going to have these are all the pattern papers that we have drafted out you can see i have the back the front and i have all the pockets and all the pieces that you are going to be needing to be able to make a cargo short so guys in my next video i'm going to be using all these pattern papers to cut on my fabric and i'll be sharing with you guys how to go about sewing a cargo short so guys this brings us to the end of this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and as well the notification bell i'll be seeing you all in my next video